What's easier to remember? A website name or the string of numbers that make up the IP address? For most of us, it's a name. DNS maps these names to a unique IP address. This is great if you have an IP address that always stays the same. But what if your business doesn't have a static IP address that never changes? How can you let your customers or employees connect into your network resources by these easy to remember names? That's where dynamic DNS, DDNS, comes into play. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure dynamic DNS on a Cisco RV340 series router. Start by logging into the web user interface of the router. The default username and password for both is Cisco in all lowercase letters. As a best practice, I've changed the username and password, so I will enter those instead. After logging in, navigate to WAN and then Dynamic DNS. Take note of the interface settings in the Dynamic DNS table. First, select the interface in which you want to configure Dynamic DNS settings. Click Edit. A pop-up window will appear, displaying the Edit Dynamic DNS option. Next, check the Enable box to enable the Dynamic DNS policy. Then, for the provider, choose an option from the drop-down menu. There are four options available. ChangeIP.com, DINDNS.com, NoIP.com, and DNSomatic.com. In this case, I'll go with NoIP.com. Please keep in mind that Cisco does not offer support for any of these third-party options. Before proceeding, an account needs to be created. In this example, I'm visiting the NoIP.com website and creating an account. To sign up, click this Sign Up button and enter an email address, password host, and name information. Click the Sign In button after you have created your account. Enter your username or email address and password. Click the Login button. Once you've logged in, your username will be visible in the upper right-hand corner. Next, go to the Dynamic DNS menu and select No IP Hostnames. The hostname that was configured shows here. Now return to your router page and enter these credentials. On the router page, enter your username and password, as well as a fully qualified domain name. Then, by checking the Enable box to send updates to a Dynamic DNS provider, you will receive updates on a regular basis. Select the frequency from the drop-down menu. The available options are every 30 minutes, every day, every week, or every month. I'll select every 30 minutes and press the Apply button. From here, you can see that the settings are visible on the WAN interfaces and that the status is registering. When it's finished processing, a success notification will pop up. To save the configuration, click on the red Save icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen and then click Apply. There you go. Dynamic DNS is configured on the RV340 series router, keeping your customers connected and your business moving forward. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.